The Mars 2020 mission launched on July 30, 2020. The science goals of Mars 2020 include trying to find out if the Red Planet ever supported life and to prepare for possible future human exploration of Mars. After traveling through space for seven months, covering a distance of nearly 300 million miles, the Perseverance rover, along with the Mars Helicopter Ingenuity, are scheduled to land in Jezero Crater on February 18, 2021. This video will focus on RIMFAX, a ground-penetrating radar instrument that will look for water ice under the surface of Mars. Perseverance will look for evidence that the Red Planet may have been inhabited by microbial life forms billions of years ago. The key to looking for signs of life is to locate water. The fact that liquid water once existed on the surface of Mars means it's possible that life may have existed on Mars in the past. The Jezero Crater landing site was selected because three and a half billion years ago a lake had formed in the crater. Satellite imagery of Jezero Crater shows evidence of clay and mineral deposits in lake bed areas and along the ancient shoreline, which are the most promising locations to search for fossilized remains of ancient life. The RIMFAX instrument of Perseverance will expand the search for water on Mars by using ground-penetrating radar to produce high-resolution images of the subterranean features. RIMFAX was developed by the Norwegian Defense Research Establishment. The principal investigator for RIMFAX is Sven Erik Hamran of the University of Oslo, Norway. The name RIMFAX is an acronym which stands for Radar Imager for Mars Subsurface Experiment. RIMFAX was inspired by Rimfaxi, a horse in Norse mythology that is the bringer of night whose name means frost mane. A good fit considering the goal of RIMFAX is to probe under the surface of Mars looking for water ice. So how will RIMFAX work? The instrument uses ground-penetrating radar to explore under the surface. GPR is used on Earth to study glaciers in the Arctic and Antarctic regions, and also to locate things like landmines or buried power lines. On Mars, RIMFAX will use GPR to search for buried treasure, water. Anything we learn about the subsurface water will help science better understand the forces and processes that shape Martian geology. Ground-penetrating radar works much like radar that is used to track aircraft or weather patterns. Radar, which stands for Radio Detection and Ranging, works by a transmitter sending out radio waves which reflect off objects and return to the radar receiver. The returned waves provide information about the location and movement of the object. The ground-penetrating radar of RIMFAX will send out microwaves ranging from 150 MHz to 1200 MHz. As these waves penetrate the subsurface, they will encounter different materials like clay, sand, ice, and possibly liquid water. These different materials will absorb, reflect, and scatter the waves in different ways. The waves that return to RIMFAX will be analyzed, allowing scientists to determine underground features. Data will be used to create maps of underground layers of rock, sand, ice, clay, and water. This will allow scientists to determine how buried layers are related to rocks exposed on the surface. RIMFAX consists of an electronics box housed in the interior of the rover and an exterior antenna attached to the back of the rover. The antenna will emit soundings every 10 centimeters perseverance travels. The soundings will alternate between higher frequency UHF waves, which provide greater resolution, and lower frequency VHF waves, which can penetrate to greater depths, but at a lower resolution. By alternating the frequencies, the team hopes to gather a combination of high resolution data for more shallow layers, while also collecting information about deeper layers. The RIMFAX team believes the instrument will achieve penetration depths up to 10 meters, but it is possible for even greater depths to be achieved in areas where the subsurface allows for better propagation of the waves. So what would finding subsurface water mean? Not only would data about the location of water reveal more information about possible past life and the geologic processes that shape Mars, but water ice deposits would also be an important natural resource that could be used by future human explorers. Thank you for watching everybody. You can leave me a note or a question in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to receive updates about the new content I'm posting to my channel about perseverance, ingenuity, and other cool science stuff. Until next time, stay curious.